welcome to our vlog. My name is Trisha Mariti Ayuma. I am HD Gel M Dayon. I am actually lost. I'm Ryan Montiliano. I'm Marian Abigail Villamil. And Mary Dayan Pina Pomoseno. And I am Mira Zan Olabata. And, and this, this is the Incredible Vloggers. The church is indeed breathtaking partner. No wonder it is very famous. So see it back. Relax and enjoy as we unfold the history of San Sebastian Cathedral. Hello guys, I am Nira Zan Balabata and now I will share to you the history of San Sebastian Cathedral. San Sebastian Cathedral the seat of the Diocese of Bacolod is a late 19th century Baroque church in the Negros Occidental, more popularly known as Bacolod Cathedral. It is the most famous religious and historical landmark in the province of Bacolod. San Sebastian Cathedral was the first built in 1925 as a little chapel made of wood with galvanized iron roof. The humble structure had only one medium sized bell. However, the two larger bells would be added over the years. The first was donated by the parish priest, Father Roman Manuel Luxin. The second was given by the Father Mariano de Avella when he became the parish priest in 1963 after the Father Luxin's passing. The church has two bell towers, one on each side of the cathedral that were built in 1985 after the main church was complete. The right tower was erected first and the fifth with a large clock donated by Don Luis Ruiz de Lozariaga. The left tower was constructed afterwards. Both were made of aluminum shed framed in hard wood. In 1969, the college city engineer found the original tower to be structurally unsound. They were eventually demolished in the 1970s and the bells were put on display in the churchyard. The towers were later built but the old bells were installed in a special bell fry donated by the Leon's Club of Bacolod. The cathedral's patron saint is Saint Sebastian, who was persecuted and martyred in 288 AD during the great persecution of Christians in Rome. His fast day is celebrated every 28th of January. The beginnings of what is now Bacal City used to be a tiny village called Magsumay, which recognized Saint Sebastian as its protector. Luis Fernando de Luna is said to have donated a relic of San Sebastian to the parish, hence its name, San Sebastian de Magsungay. So as me and my friends were walking, we saw the beauty of the church inside of the cathedral and it seems like it gives me a ghost box. Inside the church, there where we saw the beautiful stained glass windows. On the front of the cathedral cast a rainbow of views when light passes through them, batting the inside and a cozy and inviting one. Moreover, when you step inside the church, you can automatically see the chairs where Catholic people used to sit on when they wanted to pray or hear the message of God. Furthermore, the interior is equally impressive, featuring a grand altar, exquisite wood carvings, and beautiful murals on the ceiling. And that's all the history of San Sebastian Cathedral. We do hope that you enjoy our vlog and learn something from it. Thanks for watching!